Welcome to the About That Wallet podcast. I am here at FinCon 2022, and I've met so many people here, and I had the wonderful time and opportunity to meet one of the people from my mastermind group. So when you actually do sign up for FinCon, make sure you get to the mastermind. Trust me. Uh, so I do have the wonderful Tiffany here. So can you tell us, and I'm actually trying to do a speed one today, okay. which is I'm answering, asking one question, which is what does wealth mean to you? All right. So I'm Tiffany Grant from Money Talk with Tiff. Um, I love Anthony. He was like, can you come on? I'm like, absolutely. Um, FinCon is amazing. So if you've never been, please come. We would love to see you and meet you in person. But what does wealth mean to me? Uh, wealth means freedom, wealth means happiness, um, and wealth doesn't necessarily have to do with money, actually, in my opinion. Okay. Um, so I feel like health is wealth, um, being able to do what you love to do is wealth. Um, you That's know, true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's, there's so many different um, ways you can interpret wealth. And so for me, that's what it means. So for instance, Am I the richest person in the world? Absolutely not. Right. Am I even close? Absolutely no. <laughs> not. But I consider myself wealthy because I do what I love to do. I have a family. I have, you know, good support system. I um, meet wonderful people all the time like Anthony. And, you know, life is good for me. So I consider myself wealthy in that regard. Um, nice. So that's kind of my take on uh, what does wealth mean to me. I like that because um, I noticed that there's been a trend since I've been asking that question. I've been asking that question since I started my show. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I noticed is that people started to go f strictly to money. Mm -hmm. And then now they're starting to go down to health mm -hmm. and then starting to talk about more time and so forth. Mm -hmm. So it's really good that you oh, have, sure I guess you could say understand like where you really want to be in life like that i really love that so i guess since we got some time <laughs> <laughs> well if you want me to dive yeah. a little deeper yeah let's like, dive a little deeper for too. me yeah. it's never really been about money yes i talk about money all the time the brand is called money talk with tiff the misconception is that i'm all about money right. <laughs> i'm really not i'm all right. about financial education and mm. to me there's a difference right? right so for me it was never about being rich you know right. I, I don't really care to be rich you know i, I mean it would be nice don't get me wrong right, right, right. got universe you know right. don't block <laughs> you my blessings now right. but um <laughs> i mean it would be a nice plus right. but that's not what this is all about. What this is all about is making connections, being the best person that you can be on earth, um, and just do good, like be good out there. And that's that's what life is for me. So whether I have a million dollars or I have two dollars, as long as I'm healthy, as long as I have my family and friends, as long as I can function, that's what's important to me. Because I can tell y'all now, I don't make nearly as much as I did in corporate America. Oh. <laughs> um, I don't make nearly as much, I can tell you that. But uh, do I feel more wealthy? Absolutely. Right. Do I feel better? Is my health better? Absolutely. So for me, that has way more precedence than just money. I love that. Because for me, what, when I the reason why I started asking that question mm -hmm. is to kind of figure out because wealth has its own meaning to everybody. Mm -hmm. And for me, like, I look at it from like the wealth of time and like how are you actually spending your time that's one thing that we all can kind of look at it so like when you're broke you have plenty of time to do all the fun stuff so you're wealthy with time but you are not wealthy in finance but let's hit on that though okay because when you're broke right even though you might think you have more time your brain is clouded right mm. because you're constantly in survival mode so if okay. you're in survival mode you can't really be creative you can't really um think past being broke you get what i'm saying i got you yeah so then is it really that you're wealthy on time <laughs> or, <laughs> you know what i'm saying like yes, yes. It's, it's like you know people are like oh well you don't have a job you should be able to do this that or the other you know but right. when you're in that situation it could be completely different like 
you might not be able to see the opportunities that are around you because you're focused on how do I put food on the table? Right. You know, how do I make it to my next bill? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, and so it kind of clouds your creative side. So my thing is, if people can get their money more in order, regardless mm -hmm. of how much you have, right. just get it in order, you'll be able to free up that flight or fight, you know, <laughs> part of your brain that cuts off the creative right. and then you'll be able to you know kind of you know I don't know what you believe but like manifest more you yeah. know but you have to get that in order first and then show that okay I can handle this then all of a sudden they'll start coming in too hmm. so is it better for people to just kind of like just clear their mind before they do anything else or like what will, what will be the best way to clear the mind <laughs> chicken or the egg right right but um, <laughs> but honestly so okay when i started on my journey right mm -hmm. um single mom two boys still am um and at the end of the day i didn't have much like i was living from refund check to refund check it wasn't even paycheck to paycheck. i was there i was there it was like <laughs> my school refunds yep. my tax refunds and then i would pay up my rent you know because i'm like uh, in my mind i'm like all right if i get my school refund i'll pay up my rent at least we have a house over, we have a roof over our head right, you know and right. i'll figure out the rest later you, mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so even in that time, I still focused on my money because right. I planned, you know, I was like, okay, I'm going to have this whatever thousand dollar check coming in. Let me plan it so that way I can make sure that we're good. Right. Now, being able to do that, I didn't have to think about, am I going to make my rent every month? Right. So therefore, I can unlock a little more creativity, mm -hmm. you know? So yeah. then I'm like, okay, maybe I can drive Uber and live. Maybe I can um, pick up a second job. Maybe I can do more, you know, counseling, coaching, whatever. Yeah. Um, but not having that looming over my head actually allowed me to think of different ways and see more opportunities around me. Mm -hmm. So I know, <laughs> hopefully that answered your question, yeah, but it's like yeah. the chicken and the egg thing, you know. A lot of times people don't realize that money is not really the physical. It's more about your mental. It's more about um, how you think about things. A lot of times we make ourselves stuck just because of our mindsets or, you know, stuff that we've been taught over the years or our culture or what have you. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions, a lot of misinformation. And if you get stuck in that, then it could be detrimental to your financial health or any other health for that matter. That is true. Mm -hmm. um, because we had Rich Jones that was doing a, a talk mm -hmm. recently and he was talking about why he had to pretty much just stop his podcast. Mm -hmm. He had to stop going to work. He took, what, a three-month break mm -hmm. to just focus on his health. Mm -hmm. And now, and I actually was able to talk to him, like, uh, just walking around. And he was just saying, it's like, this whole year just feels different to the fact that he was able to just take that break. Mm -hmm. And I was like, huh. Well, you took a break that didn't focus on your health. Which then goes back to what the original question is, like where you said health is wealth, and that allows you to clear up your mind and focus on the things that really matter. Mm -hmm. So did you like come up with like some type of plan, like a budget? Did that really ever help you out? Yes. So that was very, very important in everything that I have going on. Um, definitely having a budget or if budgeting, if the word budget is triggering, spending plan, um, money manifestation tool, you know, there's so many different things that you can call it. You don't have to call it a budget, but that is like hands down the biggest thing that has helped me in my journey for sure. I just want to say that it's been a pleasure yeah. having you on the podcast and I'll definitely make sure to give you a shout out. And also, how can the people that are listening um, get in touch with you? Yeah, absolutely. So you can find me, the brand is Money Talk with Tiff. So you can find me moneytalkwitht.com. The podcast is Money Talk with Tiff and at Money Talk with T on all social media platforms. And I mean, literally all of them because it's nice. a slight addiction. Uh, but <laughs> you can find me anywhere. Awesome. <laughs> Well, I want to thank you so much for coming on and thank you for being such, you've been honestly a mentor to me and have provided so much information to me within the first 10 minutes since I've been here. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Thank you. And thank you for having me on. All right. You're welcome. Thanks. Thank you.